Hey, welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Arpal Singh Sokhi and I'm going to show you how to make raw mango and coriander mint chutney. Now, this is very interesting when raw mangoes are available in season, this is the right thing uh, to serve your fried foods or your snacks with. So, this chutney is very interesting. We need raw mango. Peel the raw mango. I don't need the skin. There you go. Now this uh, raw mango you see is little yellowish in color, although it is raw, but I think this should be a little bit sweet. So you can always check. Mm. Deceptive. Looks yellow, but it's very soft. So what I'm going to do is cut the mango into smaller pieces. So roughly about little more than half a mango. Absolutely tangy. And to this, I'm going to take a small bunch of coriander leaves. Again, a small bunch of mint leaves. Now, how much should this be actually? Roughly about 10 grams if you look at it. In terms of chopped, if you were to look at tablespoon measures, it should be not more than four tablespoons. Okay, three green chilies, ginger, one inch piece. And then about one teaspoon of sugar at this point of time. And onion, one small onion. And if it is a big one, take a quarter of it. Now this is ready. So there you go. Grind this. There you go. Nice chutney. Now to this chutney. Salt to taste. Black salt, just to get that punch, okay? So salt to taste and black salt, one fourth teaspoon. Dry mango powder, half a teaspoon. That's it. And mix this up. Whoa! This reminds me of my family traditions. When we would not use a mixer, but grind it in a stone. And typically my father would do it. I remember that. So this is it. To taste mm. the correct mango tang chili perfect with your meals that's for you perfect for anything and I tell you if you've got a croissant or uh, two bread slices just apply this put some boiled parado and your choice of vegetables for a sandwich it's perfect put it on a paratha spread it out roll it out and have it Yummy, I tell you, can't miss this one.